There was a secret experiment in Korea. They injected strange liquid into the man's body from behind his neck to awaken his superpowers and immortality genes. He became invulnerable, resisting all kinds of attacks. Even the army with heavy weapons couldn't hurt him at all. The powerful aura of this man knocked out all these soldiers. His energy strengthened, blowing them all out. This is a 2021 South Korean sci-fi action film, Sobok. The boy's name was Sobok. He was the result of an experiment in this institute. An unexpected experiment gave him immortal genes and superpowers. The sister-in-law of the director of the institute was killed. The National Press Bureau wanted to transfer Sobok to another safe base. For this mission, they found the retired agent G.I. Heon to protect Sobok. However, G.I. Heon at this time had cancer. The scientist at the institute told him to just extract Sobok's gene, he could cure his cancer. To maintain his life, G.I. Heon agreed. But when Sobok was transferred, a group of heavily armed mercenaries started attacking them. Two scientists tried to escape. They were shot on the spot. G.I. Heon raised his gun on alert. A smoke bomb was thrown from outside. He was directly dazed. When G.I. Heon woke up, a bald man came in. He was going to extract Sobok's immortality gene. Just as he touched Sobok, he was shocked out. Sobok had used his superpowers on him. His subordinates outside gathered up. When an anomaly was detected, G.I. Heon took Sobok to the truck and drove away. Breaking through the wall, they accelerated. Finally, they escaped from the pursuit. When they came to a small town, the truck broke down. G.I. Heon called the state press bureau. The person in charge told him the address of a safe house and told him to wait there for help. Sobok, who came into contact with the outside world for the first time was curious about everything. To not look too distinctive, G.I. Heon bought some normal clothes for him. The boy had never eaten noodles. After the first bite, he ate it clean like never before. There was no broth left. To G.I. Heon's surprise, Sobok ate 30 bowls in a row. Just then, the support of the National Press Bureau arrived. But once they met Sobok, they aimed their guns at Sobok. G.I. Heon stood directly in front of him. Sobok was his hope to live. He couldn't let him be killed. But when the agents shot at him, G.I. Heon realized that the bullets couldn't hit them. Sobok used superpowers. When the guns all ran out of bullets, G.I. Heon went straight forward, knocking down an agent in an instant. He fought against an agent down the corridor. While the agent was not paying attention, he got dragged down by G.I. Heon and knocked out unconsciously. Suddenly, his phone rang. G.I. Heon unlocked his cell phone. It was a call from the head of the bureau. G.I. Heon questioned him why he tried to kill Sobok. However, the chief didn't explain, just repeating the order at once to get rid of Sobok. But G.I. Heon didn't listen at all. He just hung up because he needed Sobok's immortal gene to cure his cancer. Just as they were about to leave, G.I. Heon got another call from the institute. The boss of the institute didn't want Sobok to be killed. He wanted to crack the immortality gene, so he could live forever. The reason why the National Press Bureau wanted to get rid of Sobok was that they were afraid mankind would lose balance. G.I. Heon was ready to take Sobok back to the institute. Sobok said he wanted to go to a place first, Weishan. What are you doing there? You don't have to know. On the way, Sobok suddenly vomited blood. It turned out that he had to take an injection of inhibitor every day. If not, he would die. This was also a defect in the immortality gene. When they came to the destination, the room contained the dead's ashes. Sobok found a picture of himself when he was a child. It turned out that Sobok had passed away 10 years ago. The one standing here was just a clone of him. Looking at himself, Sobok cried frantically. How he wished he was a real human and had a family. The bureau started to set out. They were all excellent agents. To get rid of Sobok, they sent the best special forces. Countless police cars started rounding him up. They even set up traps on the road. The National Press Bureau had waited for them for a long time. At the critical moment, the general was ruthless, ordering to fire them directly. A group of mercenaries appeared to save them. When they woke up, they were at the institute. These mercenaries were set up by the boss of the institute. It turned out that he was terminally ill. He wanted to take Sobok's gene to cure himself. At the institute, Shei Yoon, who had been taking care of Sobok since the beginning turned out to be Sobok's mother. Sobok passed away when he was too young. So she used her son's gene to give him another life. She didn't expect him to go through endless research. Sobok was in pain. Shei Yoon wanted to save him. So she came to the boss of the institute with a gun. She hadn't shot him yet, she was shot by his guard. Facing his mother's death, Sobok collapsed. He lost his only relative. He also lost his spiritual sustenance. Sobok began to go wild, releasing all his super ability, killing the scientist. The mercenaries started shooting wildly, but they couldn't hurt him at all. Sobok squashed the object next to him, controlling it and hitting the mercenaries all at once. At that time, the boss of the institute was pressed into a lump. When Sobok walked out of the institute, the outside had been surrounded by the National Press Bureau. Sobok was not afraid at all. He walked past them. The water under his feet were all separated. At that time, everyone fired at him, but they couldn't hurt Sobok at all. He unleashed his powers, pressuring his power and swept them on the ground in an instant. 
Sobok increased his power, dust blew up, taking down the army in front of him. Due to overload himself, Sobok began to vomit blood. Just then, the chief of the National Press Bureau came on a tank. He kept attacking Sobok, it seemed like Sobok had reached his limit. At the critical moment, G.I. Heon appeared and blocked the car in front of Sobok. The chief fired wildly until the car was blown up. At this time, G.I. Heon was also injured. He told Sobok to leave him alone and run away, but Sobok didn't obey. He had no relatives. He had no place to go. He pulled out the superpower suppressor. Against the frantic attack, he kept moving forward. When his superpower reached its limit, he destroyed him all. The superpower being used too much. It also broke Sobok's body. When G.I. Heon found him, Sobok had gone. If human beings can really live forever, the population will increase indefinitely in the future. Will it lead mankind to extinction? I'm Harry. I'll see you next time.